there was a discussion in my office the other day about selling um, a child five hundred thousand dollars worth of insurance. There's nothing wrong with that. There is. Why? Why does a child need five hundred thousand dollars worth of life insurance? Wealth, um, generation, <laughs> generational so wealth. Do you plan on chi- on killing that child? No. Then why would they need a five hundred thousand dollars worth of insurance? I don't know. Maybe they'll ha- grow up and be. You know, and then when they there. get older and they're, they're hold on. So they're seriously, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> so I understand that life happens fast, right? And I have the means mm-hmm. to put my child in a decent insurance but that is, they could take over at 18. Right. Right. Okay. I could get it cheap now. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Because common misconception is uh, children can only get whole life policies. So the idea of being of getting something cheap only applies to adults. Oh, interesting. So, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I can't get it cheap now. I can get it at the fair market rate mm-hmm. that I could afford. Mm-hmm. And my child takes it over at a certain age. Because they could you could transfer um You can transfer ownership, yes. Right. So I did my due diligence as a father to set my child up. But the question is gonna be why does the child require that much insurance coverage? I because think, we like tanks. Yeah, but are you trying to kill your child? But something can happen at any something time. Something can happen, but if something happened, you're not trying to profit off your child. Why not? <laughs> then why that's exactly why. You don't want to pro for children, it's not necessary. For an adult, maybe. Because an adult is so what's the something limit? to the table. So what's the limit? Honestly, the limit is technically 50% of what the what the parent has. But I will honestly say no respectable company will go more than maybe I say $150,000 worth of coverage for a child. Wow. Okay. So you so everybody else could put and bet on the lifespan mm-hmm. of a person. Mm-hmm. But me saying life is real. Anything could happen. And if something was to happen, whoever survives, I would like for them to be well taken care of. Okay. But why does it have to be your child? Because ex- if I am five, I'm, I believe in equality. No. If I'm five, no, my no. wife five, my child could be five, and my other child could be five. <laughs> no. So if something was to happen to us, someone but get a little f- half or a million dollars. No, 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 no. I just go on planes. <laughs> we can have boating accidents. We can have car. But like, your child con- contributes no no insurable interest to you other than being a child. The only You are the one that are paying the bills. Right. Your child, your child doesn't pay any bills. She's a joy in my life. Yeah, but she doesn't pay any bills. She so does. If there is a, if she, if if she loses her life, the only thing that will be lost is your emotional attachment. It's not like she contributes to paying the light bill, the cable bill, or anything else. Hey, my child is a producer. My child <laughs> helps produce this podcast. She has credit. Okay, but she 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 comes up with ideas all the time. Then that's child labor. <laughs> okay, but she a lot, a lot, a lot. You know what? <laughs> this this is this is one of the reasons I don't like insurance. They put limits like it doesn't matter. We live in a capitalistic society. Mm-hmm. Now, I I suggest, I know it's a it's a red flag. It's a red flag. However, if I have the means, if I have no criminal record, I have no intent, there should be nothing wrong if I choose to pay that premium. Then put that money aside into uh, interest bearing account. That's that's not. The I thing. could borrow against that later. Okay. I can, can I? What the interest bearing on account? my child, the insurance on my child. Can I borrow against it? Certain policies, yeah. Okay, so maybe I'm setting up to borrow against it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is so, no, 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 no. What I'm saying because children graduate on average in the Bahamas at sixteen. Maybe I want to borrow against it for 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 college. Okay. But what I'm saying is... So and, and why not, y'all gonna stop me? Because it's too much insurance. No, man. If I have the means, you can't tell me. This is, see, now... No, 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 you're uh-uh. It's too mm, much insurance. Mm, mm. I'm sorry. It's And I, I'm one of those persons, and, and forgive me for this, but I, I truly believe that children should not have a certain amount of insurance. I, I actually, like, for me, if you come to me, I'm always going to say... As a parent, you should insure yourself before you insure your child. I agree with that. 
Because to me, I always believe that you put yourself at more risk. It's more likely that something's going to happen to you right. as opposed to the child. And if something were to happen to you, what's going to happen to the child's policy? It's not going to get paid. They barely even to trust, and the trust pays it. This is why you hate me. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. This is why you because you're like this son of a. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, it's the <laughs> thing, right? I I like to look at and do it, do things differently. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to find creative ways to generate wealth. Mm-hmm. Um, like you said, it is a necessity. I'm not going to say necessity or evil. Um, I did my thing with it, mm-hmm. um, and I parted ways with it. Uh-huh. Because it was in service in my immediate need. Uh-huh. And I was like, hmm, let's cash it out. I know that I did not fight you on that. No, you didn't. You didn't. Because I knew what you were working with. You know, you know what I'm about. You know right. what it is that I do. So yeah. That I think that's what sets me apart from other agents. Um, you don't I beg look, and scream. No, I, I look at reality. I, I I think things should be more pragmatic. As opposed to, you know, being optimistic about certain things. Now, in a couple of years, when you come back to me, and I know that you are going to come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> you call me now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you are going to come back to me. Um, I'll oh, I'll welcome you with open arms. But, you know, what you need to accomplish now, then I'm not going to fight you against that. 